All right, fuel move, cow flaps, trim trims, full ridge prop in. Jabar traffic, Skyline 80, Pop Echo, departing runway 36, Jabar. As soon as we get there, it's clear. All right, heels on the floor. Your speed's alive. Instruments green. 60 knots, rotate. Positive rate, flaps up. Jabar traffic, Cali Negro, Papico, departing the area to the east, Jabar. Quite a bit of haze out today, too. Yeah, a little bit more than I thought there would be. It's really pretty out today, though. Nice that everything's greened up. Yeah, isn't that the truth? With all that rain we've had lately. Oh, now I can see the school from the air. Here you go. Boy, you can see all the construction equipment. Oh, can you? Yeah. Be a good uh, picture to take to Allison. Wow. I don't think I... You know, the part that's over nearest our building, I had seen a, a bit of, but it goes way on over. Yeah. He was telling me that uh, May 10th, next Friday, they're going to be giving tours to the um, faculty at the high school. So I'm going to try to go over there and take a tour. Check it out, yeah. There's, I mean, we're flying right over, um, right over Augusta. It is just below us. We thought we might have to, oh, somebody's landed. I hope we can fly about this altitude when we go to um, the Bahamas when we fly along the coast. When we fly along the uh, coastline of Florida, I hope we can be about this altitude. So. Oh, that would be nice. This is a great view. I think there's a whitewater river down there. It is full. All oh. these ponds are just full. So we're just headed on down to Independence to today. Just a short little trip. Trying to knock a little rust off today. Yep, and then uh, 
What are we going to, main attraction, I think, what are we looking for today in Independence? Oh, well, the zoo in Independence is supposed to be really a cute little zoo. It's free. And uh, you can take the boat ride for, I think, 50 cents a dollar or something. And uh, ride the carousel for a nickel. And, uh, oh, I can't remember what else they have. But anyway, it's a very small town. Um, there's some good places to eat, so we're definitely eating. There's a, I heard there's a really good, uh, I think, cookie bakery place in town that's supposed to be really good. We'll see what we do. Oh, and um, Ron is dying to see the little house on the Prairie House, which is very close to. Oh, oh yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely dying to see that. About the only thing or only, uh, association I have with the little house on the prairie house is when I was younger and that was a popular show was uh, when I had a little bit longer thicker hair everybody kind of said I looked a lot like Michael Landon but uh, <laughs> today when they see pictures of me back when I had a lot longer and thicker hair uh, everybody says I looked a lot like uh, Sean White the snowboarder so I don't know maybe we'll put a picture up and y'all can vote on do I look more like Michael Landon or do I look more like Sean White? <laughs> when he was younger, there is one picture in particular. He definitely looked like Sean White, I think. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. I, Hair not quite as red, but still. Yeah, yeah not as red, but definitely as uh, thick and wavy. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we're just going to kind of spend the day there. Walk around town. I've heard it's a really uh, little town. They have a festival actually in the fall. It's called uh, Niwala. It was started back, oh, I don't know. I should have looked this up however many years ago. It, it was uh, started as the way to keep the kids from doing pranks on Halloween. And so they, it, uh, Niwala is Halloween, spell backwards. And it's uh, like a week long festival. They have a whole town is involved. The, there's a queen that's chosen from the senior girls and the whole senior girls class is, um, or princesses or something like that. But anyway, it is a, uh, it's another quaint little cute Kansas town that we are just going to go see. Yeah, just try to check it out and just kind of walk around. We'll kind of uh, bid for what we see and what, what appeals to us. And maybe a few things that doesn't appeal to us might appeal to you guys. So. Uh, so, just as always, we probably don't say enough. We appreciate your uh, subscribing and watching and, oh, yeah. uh, and comments on uh, things you want to see and like to see, and we'll do our best to accommodate. There's also a, uh, a really big park near here that's got a, a river going through it that has a like 14 mile long hiking trail that's supposed to be really, really good. And uh, later on in the summer, I think we want to try to come back and do that with our daughter and son-in-law and the dogs. It'll be a fun uh, day trip for us. So anyway, we'll see if we get a chance to do that later on this summer. So, so we always see this wind farm that's off to the, the north or on the highway, but there's another huge one just right here that we're flying right toward. Yeah, they got quite a few of them out this way. Actually, this one's bigger than the one we always see. Capture. Yeah, you guys are looking a lot better. I'm going to pause in the southbound direction. Uh, number three, Wadey three, Moses, your uh, transponders come on, and I'm getting a bunch of traffic alerts. So uh, if you want to kick out the route for a second, check that, please. Take care of it. Negative. I'm going to shut it clear off and go past standby. 23, uh, transponder. All right, that did it. Thank you.
At our right frequencies for where we're going? Yes. It's a little far out right now. Tell you what, Moses, uh, why don't you settle in there, and when you get comfortable, give me a shout. I'll go ahead and make the left turn when you call it, and then uh, we'll see if we can keep you in sight. Uh, 23, what we got going on here is it uh, looks like you've got good power up, uh, but you actually need to pull into us a little bit. So you're on the outside of that turn circle, but moving away. So we're going to do one more, uh, probably two more here to the left, and then uh, try to think about being a little bit closer to the inside on that turn circle when we make our left. Mighty three. That's looking a lot better. Remember, you're way on the outside and you're underpowered, so you may want to cheat a little with geometry by being a little lower. Uh, so put our aircraft above the horizon, so when you're looking, you should see... Uh, uh, but that's independence. That's with the Cessna factor. They're oh. probably... Okay, gotcha. I thought we were hearing somebody's lesson. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it kind of smoothed out up here. It was kind of bumpy down there around 3,000, 3,500. Definitely was. I decided to. We've got to come up with some other words besides bumpy. Uh, besides bumpy? Yeah, no, there's turbulent. Uh, we say bumpy way too much. Oh. <laughs> so I think we need a new word. Uh, choppy. Choppy. Well, that sounds like a boating term. Well, that's true. I don't know. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Just decided we say bumpy way too much. Well, maybe we do. Well, uh, that last flight down to Ruston and then Ruston to Waco and Waco back here, I, that was just bumpy the whole time. <laughs> That traffic in the pattern, you can go ahead and uh, take it. We're going to kind of deviate a little bit to the north, and uh, we're a little high, so we're just going to uh, descend a little bit to the north and then re enter. Roger, uh, 359, we're back. Independence traffic, Skyline 80, Papako, turning final, 17, Independence. All right, on final full flaps. Independence traffic, Skyline 80, Papico, clear, runway 17, Independence. Yeah, I see that. 
just take this one right here. Okay. 